Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the Feast of the Mysteries of the Stations of the Cross, or the Way of the Cross, a liturgical feast proper to the Franciscan tradition. According to some, the history of this devotion of the Stations of the Cross, which we are doing, going to pray later on after the Mass, can be traced back to the visits of Our Lady, the Mother of Jesus, to the sites of the Passion of her Son in Jerusalem. But generally, historians attribute the beginning of this specific devotion to St. Francis of Assisi or the Franciscan tradition. Originally, the true Stations of the Cross implied the need to physically visit the places where Jesus suffered and was put to death. But since such a pilgrimage was impossible for many people, the representation of the stations in the churches was a way of virtually bringing every believer to Jerusalem. This popular practice was spread by pilgrims returning from the Holy Land and mainly by the Franciscan friars who were in charge of the holy places in Palestine. One of the greatest promoters of the Stations of the Cross was Saint Leonard of Port Morris, a Franciscan friar who, person who personally established several hundreds of them. The Church of Christ is placed under the mystery of the Cross. In the way of the Cross, we encounter the suffering Christ, and at the end, that wonderful transfigured Christ, whose body and stigmata shine like the sun in the light of the resurrection and transfiguration. The life of every single person means being asked to walk the way of the cross following Jesus. To be allowed to walk the way of the cross with Jesus is a great grace. Every cross, as St. Francis de Sales wrote, has been weighed with great love by God himself in its length, height, depth, and all its dimensions. Each one of us is called to carry a fragment of the cross of Jesus Christ. The real bearer of the cross, however, is Jesus Christ himself. We find Jesus in the mystery of his stations of suffering on the way of the cross. Jesus who voluntarily allows himself to be condemned to death and takes up the cross. Jesus who falls under the weight of the cross and thus saves us from falling into sin. Jesus who lets Simon of Cyrene carry the cross and shows us that each one of us is called, like Simon of Cyrene, to follow the cross. Our beloved Jesus, turns his suffering face towards us, and we, like Saint Veronica, may wipe his blood-stained face, wanting to imprint and leave the seal of his face in the soul of each one of us. Jesus, who wants to unite himself intimately with us in every station, so that it is no longer we who live, but he in us through the mystery of the cross. At the climax of the way of the cross, we find the crucified Lord, who gives the last drop of his own blood out of love for us. Constantly, we discover new aspects of this love and devotion for us in the total sacrifice of Jesus, united with his most loving mother. The mother of sorrow stands under the cross. She also stands under the crosses of our lives and wants to walk the way of the cross with each one of us. In the seven last words of Jesus on the cross, what depth and meaning they contain. We too are called to let Jesus work in our lives in this way, so that at the end we may say, there it is consummated in the most intimate union with him. Accompanying Jesus on his way of the cross means showing him that we are not different 
not indifferent to his suffering and death. It means letting the Lord and his mother give us the grace to have the strength ourselves to walk on our own way of the cross and to do it with others who are set on our path. We never pray the stations of the cross alone, but we pray them and with the, in union with the whole Church, contemplating the mystery of the piercing of Christ's sight and the fathers of the Church teach us that through the shedding of the blood and water the sacraments are mysteriously represented and by the Holy Spirit, through his work throughout the universe, makes the fruits of the cross effective in the souls of the faithful. The last breath of Christ and the breath of the Holy Spirit that continues through the centuries in the souls of baptized Christians, which too is shown to us in the way of the cross. We want, therefore, entrust ourselves to Our Lady, the Mother of Sorrows, that she may teach us how to love authentically the cross of our Lord, so to learn how to carry our own ones joyfully. May the holy names of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph be blessed now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.